You draft Alex Sar, yep. number two. We got to see him in the summer league, and yep. I was joking. He missed a lot of shots. You're the good. one thing I will say is he gets to his spots. Mm-hmm. Like, he looks comfortable getting to his spots. And a stroke looks hope- fine. It'll be fine. He's seven one. He's a defensive player first. I think we right. saw that. Um, would he like to have some of those games back in summer league? Yeah. It was five months since he played five on five last in February. So we're not going to be too wrapped up into four games in summer league, right. especially when you saw and you actually break down the tape, the good things he did, how he got to his spots, how he moved the ball. I thought they were good people. looks. Yeah. We're, we're not too worried about that. The offense is going to come. I'm excited for what he's going to be three, four years right. down the line. We're not too worried about those three. Even though he's only 19, league. he's been playing professional ball since like 15 or yeah. four, earlier. Like you probably, probably didn't have to worry about him being a pro. Like you're like, He's been doing it already. The professional habits that he has, yeah. we're going to improve upon those. But someone that wants to take the, the chance to leave home at 14, play in Spain, then try something different in America, playing for OTE, then go all the way to Australia, he's got a lot of different experiences and a lot of confidence. That what are the professional habits through. that you're talking about? He just knows how to prepare for his body. Um, okay. He knows what goes into winning. Like He's a vocal defensive player. It's hard to see 18, 19-year-olds talking 